Okay, hey Joy and students, if you're watching this, hello. I figured it would be easier just to screen capture what I'm doing. Um, because sometimes it's just easier than trying to type it out in text format. So anyway, I'm looking at your flash file here. Um, and you're, yeah, I can totally see you're halfway there. Uh, there's a definite trick to this to get it to um, rotate all the way. Flash doesn't uh, know exactly how to do this because it's not truly a 3D program. So the easiest way to do this is since you've done half the animation, all we have to do is the other half. Uh, so you kind of have to force uh, the second half of the animation. You have to manually tell Flash what it is you want to do. So the first thing I want to do is lengthen the um, the duration of your layer, of your timeline here. So I'm just going to go to frame 60. We already have 30 odd frames, 31, whatever it is, but I'm going to uh, actually click on frame 60, and I just pressed F5, okay? And that just inserts frames. So we haven't really done anything, and we've made no changes to the animation, right? Now, we know that um, we want it to uh, end where it, how it starts. We want this frame to be here. So on the Mac, I can hold down uh, Command and then click on a frame or a keyframe, and I'll select just the one frame in the span. Um, as you know, working with um, the new motion tweens, if you click on the span, it selects the whole thing. But if you ever want to um, just select an individual frame or keyframe, just hold down Command. I think it might be... Um, I'm looking on my PC. It, it, it's either Alt or Control. I can't remember exactly. Um, Anyway, once you've done that, again on the Mac, I've, I've, hit, I've held down Command, pressed, um, clicked on the keyframe to select it, and then I hold down Option. And when I hold down Option, I can, oops, I just made a mistake. I can then click and drag this keyframe, and ho by holding down Option, it actually duplicates this keyframe for me. Uh, again, I think on the PC, it's... Um, it's either Alt or Control. I just can't remember. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning for me here. Um, now, obviously, if we play it back, it's still not uh, working the way we want it to. It's just reversing itself. So this is where the trick comes in. I'm going to... Um, what I want to do is is tell Flash here, uh, I want to edit the, the perspective of this card. Okay. Uh, but what we want to do is, is insert a keyframe right after this middle keyframe. All right, so I'm, I held down Command and I, and I clicked to select this keyframe. Now I'm right-clicking over this keyframe. Okay, I'm going to say Insert Keyframe. And instead of trying to decide whether you want a position keyframe, a scale, skew, or rotation keyframe, just select All. That'll cover all bases for you. All right, so now over here, I have the 3D rotation tool already selected. So now here, all we need to do is, is kind of force Flash's hand, so to speak, pun intended, and say this is what we want. We want you to go from here to here. And then that way, the latter half of the animation will make it uh, come all the way around. So if we play this, we'll have a complete um, rotation. So that's the trick. That's the problem is if we re rely too, too much on just the keyframes that Flash creates, um, it won't work. We have to manually go from literally these two keyframes is the trick from here to here, just a slight amount. What that does is force the perspective uh, in the other direction, which will then then Flash will know. Okay, I need to continue traveling um, in this direction, into, in, in, and then eventually it'll come around to this. So that's how that effect is done. You're you're very close, and you're only about a minute away from finishing it. And I hope. Uh, this video helps. I'm glad you bought my book. Um, thank you so much, and let me know if you have any other questions. Bye.